Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I'm in Pro Show Producer, and I'm going to show you how to build an intro for a travel show using some of the animations off of Home Movie Essentials Volume Number One. Let's start by setting our show up for widescreen, and we do that by clicking on Show Options, and just make sure our aspect ratio here is set to widescreen. And we also want to go up under Edit, Preferences, and make sure our default image settings is set to fill frame. That'll just save us some time. Okay, the animations that we need off of Home Movie Essentials Volume Number 1 are the World Flight Background, the Travel Album Open and its corresponding mask, and the Jet Wipe with its corresponding mask and transition mask, and of course your travel photo. So let's start building slide number one by dragging the world flight background down into slide number one. And let's double click to open our slide options. Now we want to add our travel album to this slide, so let's do that. Add image or video. Here's our travel album open. And of course it needs its corresponding mask, so let's add the mask. Add a masking layer, add image or video, and right here is our travel album open mask. Okay, let, let's see what we got there. As you could notice, the World Flight animation has an audio clip attached to it, which is playing the entire duration of the slide. Well, we don't want that, so let's let's adjust this World Flight animation so it begins when the travel album opens, so we only hear that audio after the tr the travel album opens. And we're going to do that under the Effects tab, under Motion Effects. We're going to make sure that this world flight layer is selected and we're going to drag its keyframe key number one to about 12.5 seconds. And the reason I know that is because I know that the travel album opens in 12.5 seconds. So we're going to set that animation to begin as the travel album opens so we only hear the audio after the travel album opens. Okay, then we're done with slide number one. Let's move on to slide number two. Okay, but first let's get rid of this transition. We want these slides to play seamlessly, so let's go ahead and make this a cut. And we'll start slide two by dropping in World Flight. And we want to set this slide time to four seconds. And we'll go ahead and double click to open up our slide options and we're going to create our caption. Under the Captions tab, Caption Settings, we'll type our title. And I think I'll add an outline and a drop shadow to that to give it a little more pop. And I want this particular title to zoom in to the center. So up here under text effects, under fly in, let's choose the zoom in center and take a look at what that looks like. Okay, it's zooming in in the center, but it's going a little too fast. So let's adjust that motion a little bit under the caption motion tab. And right here is the fly in effect. If we right click there, we can set the effect time to one second, and we'll take a look at that. There we go. Much better. Okay, now we are done with slide number two. Let's go ahead and build slide number three. As you can see, we already have a cut here, so we don't have to do that again. Okay, let's start slide three by dropping in our travel photo. And let's go ahead and double click to open our slide options. And we're going to add our world flight to this slide as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And we also need our caption. So let's go back under captions and type our title again. Now all your settings will remain the same, so your title is going to look just like it did on the previous slide. The only thing we want to do to this title on this slide is I want this title to fly out with our jet wipe. So we're going to go back over here to text effects and we're going to change the fly in back to none. And we're going to change the fly out to pan up. 
Okay, now let's add the rest of the layers of this slide. Go back to layers. Now it's important that we build this slide in the correct order so we get the, the correct effect. So the first layer we need to add is the jet wipe transition mask. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to add a masking layer, add image or video, and there's that jet wipe transition mask. Let's add that first. Now the second layer is going to be the actual jet wipe itself. So let's add image or video, and there's the jet wipe. Okay, now we need the jet wipe mask. So we're going to add masking layer again, add image or video, and there's the jet wipe mask. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, as you can see, our, our caption is not quite moving when we want it to, so let's adjust that. To do that, let's go under our captions tab caption motion and we're going to drag keyframe 2 to just to 1.5 and let's see if that works. Yeah, there we go. The jet's taking the title out with it. Okay. Now also if you can also hear that the world flight audio is playing too. There's a, there's a jet noise as well but that that world flight audio is playing too. So let's go and adjust that too under under effects, motion effects, and make sure the world flight layer is selected and we're going to drag keyframe number two back to about 1.5 seconds right when that jet wipes coming over and that should do it. Let's see what we have. <laughs> 